This is the, our Harlander bus, and Harlander is the first autonomous service running on the island. It runs a 1.5 mile route, uh, taking you from across the street from the Titanic railway station down to the Catalyst building. Uh, the bus has really been introduced to help support a modal shift in transport. How do we encourage people on short routes out of their cars using the current public transport infrastructure? Uh, and then we get them from A to B. And this has been brought together by a consortium. So we brought a bunch of people together looking at the software of the vehicle, the vehicle itself in terms of the hardware, a lot of camera work, uh, LIDAR, radar, a lot of data coming in, being soaked up in a lot of different ways to help, to help the software think and act appropriately. Self-driving vehicles are fulfilling our purpose today. Uh, there are driver shortages globally. This isn't something just in Northern Ireland, it's everywhere. We have very effective public transport systems in some ways, but how do you get those last miles, that last mile connectivity for people? People live that are off the beaten track as such. Uh, autonomy will help address that, making it a cost-effective measure to help support infrastructure that exists today. Uh, the benefits for the user are really, it's, it should be a seamless exercise. Where I have looked at these globally, they are seamless. They work very well once you embed them. There is a learning curve to get over for the consumer uh, and for, for, for the, the, the developer itself as well. Uh, but it works incredibly well once they're over it. So it's a change in human behavior, no different than any other technology that gets introduced.